Hi, my name is Phil Staunton, Managing Director of D2M Innovation Limited. This short video is designed to give people with new product ideas an introduction to the forms of intellectual property that might be appropriate for their concept. We're going to look at patents, registered designs, trademarks and also confidentiality agreements. Patents are about protecting the overall functionality of your product. To get a patent, your idea must fulfil a useful purpose, it must be inventive and it must also be novel. Patents can last up to 20 years if the renewal fees are paid and a patent traditionally takes between three to five years to get through to grant. However, once the patent is filed, normally at the UK Intellectual Property Office if you're a UK resident, then you can legally use the phrase patent pending and that's why you'll see lots of products on the market with patent pending on them. The patent hasn't gone through to grant yet, but the company has still launched the product knowing that that patent is in the process of being examined and then going through to being granted by the examiners. A patent, if filed at the UK Intellectual Property Office, will cost you £180 if it's a paper filing or £150 if it's an electronic filing. If you use an attorney to draft and file your application, then you're likely to need to add between £1,500 and £3,500 on top of that for their services. The cost varies hugely because different attorneys charge different amounts uh, and also if your idea is more complex, then obviously the attorney is going to need to spend more time on the application and therefore it is going to cost more. Registered designs protect the overall look and appearance of your product. You can file a UK registered design or an EU registered community design. And again, you can either self-file your application or you can use an attorney. The fees for filing a UK registered design are £60 and for an EU registered community design are €350. Euros. If you use an attorney, um, for a UK application it might cost you an additional £500 to £1,000 and for an EU application, it might be £1,000 up to around £1,500. The registered design needs to be filed after a patent if both a patent and registered design is appropriate for your idea. Otherwise, your registered design can count as disclosure and invalidate your patent application. Trademarks protect your logo or your company and product name. Again, you can self-file or you can use an attorney to do it for you. If you self-file your trademark, that will cost you £170 for your UK application and £50 for additional classes of products that it needs to be filed in. That assumes that you do it online. There is an additional charge if it is a paper-based application. If you do your trademark application through an attorney, it might cost you around £500 additional professional fees on top of those official filing fees. A confidentiality agreement is a legal document signed by two parties which binds the person who is receiving the confidential information not to reveal it to anyone else and to only work on behalf of the inventor. These are a useful form of protection because they are free but they are only temporary. Draft confidentiality agreements can be downloaded from the Intellectual Property Office website or from the Business and IP Centre at the British Library. Alternatively, you can get a solicitor to draft an agreement specific for your project. I hope this has been a useful introduction. If you think patents are appropriate for your idea, you might want to watch my video on how to patent an idea. Also, if you've got any further questions, please do put them in the comments box and I will get back to you.